Well, you're gonna go for a catch. You can also go for a peel or a healer here. Florian and Estos is still open for Bigaton Alpha, but I doubt they'll go for that route. Franco? And going for a more of a lockdown hero. Oh! And they go for a sustain here. Turn Alpha, they have the retry advantage. They're looking for an invade. Super Ken already walking them down. And Cerizo tries his best to distract up top. Super Ken with a taunt now for the airstrike coming down. Van gonna be able to knock Super Ken up, but that's the appraiser's wrap. Taking Van Lu really low with the ionic edges. It's enough. And Super K takes first blood. Might just be instinct, man. I have no idea. But look at that. Van goes in. Oh, wow. Super Van is able to escape there with the power of nature somehow. Super with a good cold altar gets them out. Now Sokken is looking for the okay. Wii's. Oh, yep. Nothing you can do out of there. Van used up the heavy spin and it becomes just a free kill over. You Super see the gold lead here is actually taken by Aura Fire. 400 gold lead, even though Mikaton Alpha only has, uh, already has two kills on their favor, but Vin getting locked down. Heavy spin, locking him down. Cole Ulster saving him and getting him, giving him so much Whoa. more resources. Wild well charge onto the back right now. Super Sokken has a crossbow tank, but it's only on to Van. Or a fire have a beautiful pick here under their wing. High flickering out. Super Ken with the retribution slows him down. Shadow Stampede brings him back for Super Ken to Bane, slice. what? Out of nowhere there, Aura Fire tries to force Bikiton Alpha into the fight, but now they're the ones getting engaged on! Two men taunt into the stampede, bringing high back as Super Ken knocks Sin down. Up. Wow, even with the taunting, your appraiser's wrath coming down, not going to be able to take him out though. Sin is able to flick around, but... Right now with Super Sorizo in the front, look at him. He is still full HP because of regen. There's no one on the side of Aura Fire that can do enough damage. Only Kabuki, oh. I think, and he pulls Van back in. And he will be jumped on for now, but no. Because of Alpha, they maintain full control over the Lord. Oh. On to four. Super Key still able to get out with the Stampede now. Super Sorizo taking very low. He brings passion as well. Heavy Spin going to be used up, but Super Vin locks him down for a bit. A call alter comes down, and Super Ken, who wins the Retri battle, even getting a kill. Now the Shadow Stampede bringing around back just for a bit, but Super Ken stays in the front of it all, not letting anyone from Aura Fire touch his back line. For anti burst. Right? He doesn't want to get picked off, so he goes for all these tools right here, but in the long fight, it means that he can't really stay in the front line. Someone else needs to do that. Wild charge on the Kabuki, but he still gets out the Stampede, though, brings him back. Now Super Cerezo jumps on him, picks up the kill. Meanwhile, Aran all the way in front. Super Saiyan gets baited in, pops in a win of nature, but he falls to the turret. My goodness, Aura Fire able to create some chaos to get Saiyan off the board, and Aran now just clears out the wave on this Bikido, jumps back in onto four members, though. This is a risky move. Stampede, bring it back. Oh, Aran on the back, my goodness, forcing Super Key out, and just like that, They've gotten some more space to play with. Trying to force that heavy spin from Van. Vin, though, is holding on to that wild charge. Doesn't want to use it a bit too early into this team oh. fight. Good snipes on Ar Super Sokka. Look at the back as well. Aran doing a good job at flanking for the airstrike coming down. And this might just be it. Oh, good heavy spin. And Kabuki is the one who finds it. Now Bigatron Alpha on the back foot. Another beautiful Astro Sphere. Has oh. one more extra front line. They can look to try and just flank around get the poke damage onto Key and Super Saken before the fight even begins. Oh, this is where it gets scary for the Terminators. Terizo pops in that Consecration. Top side has a wild charge, baiting out the heavy spin, but Van is able to bring Super Vin back just a bit. Astro Echo revealing them! Oh my goodness! The shutdown to oh. the Flickers forward, forcing Super Vin out and forcing Nicole Alter. One member down, no Super Ken to play with. Oh my god, that damage oh. and a snipe from Kabuki! Now, they're looking for the Siege. Super Cerezo trying to hold them down, but Aura Fire might be able to take this game with another Siege into the mid lane. So much rage to deal with. And Bigatron Alpha, they are crumbling. Godly kites from Van, godly kites from Kabuki as well. And they're trying to Siege down there. Try the SF forcing a flicker away from Super Key. Super Cerezo, sorry, slow! Still able to escape for a bit. A good wild charge delaying the inevitable. Bubble 3 3 waves coming down. Super Key's the only one who can defend. It's still zero seconds now. Super Ken finally respawning back in. Retribution on the wave. Super Ken holding the game in his hands. Now up against Van, who's just staying in the front line, giving space to the back line. Another runner apathy on the Super Key. Saken finally respawning back. Sustained, but it's only useful in the mid game. When they get to the later stage, this is what happens. They're going to collide, they're going to collapse, but they're going to poke. Super, the super's down slowly but surely. 
Finn holding on to that Lord, not letting it crash into the turret right now. So it's like it's popped in with a heavy spin as well. Saken brought back to the team with the Cole Alter used up now to save him. Super Saken still kiting away, using his fire. A wild charge on a Kabuki gets him down. And Aura Fire are forced back. But Vigatron are still looking for the chase now with a stampede and flicker from Super Key. He wants to get that kill on Van. He's still able to dash away for a bit though. Now the Red Tree's coming in since taken low. Flicker's out. Super Key still looking for that one last shot that will take the Panda down. And there it is, the mega kill for Key. And Super Sorizo on the Notorious Uranus pick. There's just too much damage on Aura Fire. He might get picked up again. Oh. What? Now you see him, now you don't. Aura Fire with a magic trick now. As the Astral Echo reveals three members from Bigatron Alpha. Oh, they could very easily make oh, something happen right here. Look at that angle on the Astral Echo. Glad you pointed it out, Sheffin. Now Spheter's coming down. Aran still holding off from going in here. As Bigatron Alpha still have the grasp onto the Lord. No opening yet, but look at the Venezuela. Slowly but surely, they crack the robot's defense down. With the Cole Alter already taken out. Now Kabuki flickers forward, going with the base, and Aura mm. Fire has done it. It's taken game number one against the Red Robots, the Red Terminators, against all odds. Surprise us without any real marksman, any real DPS composition, but I really don't see that. Oh, oh there you go. My goodness. For Aura As Fire, technically also have two, but the Arlet with the Brave Smite as well. This is what's going to give them a lot of problems. In early game, Van really with a puncture. Now Super Vin getting chunked quite low, force a flicker out, but Van goes in for the Thorn Rose. One more hit, high dives in deep, but Super Vin is able to sustain Sin as well, but Super Vin is still alive Ooh. for a bit. It's a trade in, one for one. Roamer traded in Ooh. for the mid laner. High now taken low, still able to utilize the Vengeance. The Super Ken jumps in again and attempts a blaze Whoa. to secure the kill. Now Van with the Thorn Rose, but Super Ken jumps out. Okay. They have given one kill over to Super Ken already. Now with the purple buff being contested though, Ooh, hang on. Oh, 1v1, now Red Tree Battle coming in, and it's still gonna oh. be Super Ken who secures it as Van actually utilized the Red Tree onto Ken. Cerezo in the midst of it all, now getting sniped down, the damage, everything collapsed onto him, even under the turret he falls. Hard guard though, is right here. The Tempest of Blades used up, good flicker out from Kabuki as Van is now all alone. He gets into taunt, he's against four members, the final slash isolates him and takes him out. Because well, on the worst case scenario, they, tr they try and target him in the split push or try and pick him off. They have uh, solutions. He has solutions to try and stay alive. Oh, this gets really, really... Oh, final slash. Temples of Blaze used up. The Appraiser's Wrath as well. Super Vin now brought back to the team. And no one's there to follow it up. Now the Phantom Execution in the back. Van with a puncture. With a oh. door row. Super Ken is taken low. Now Van is in the midst of it all. Trying to go for the steal right now. But he loses all of his HP. And Super Saken just takes his life. And Super Saken having a pretty good time in the gold lane here against Kabuki. But looks like it's going to end now. It's a dive. Three man. The damage reduction doing work right now. But it's not enough to save him under this turret. It's Go for four or five minutes this gets by Kabuki with a flicker here. Super Saken will respond with one, two. Oi! Might be in the back. There you go. Bigotron Alpha should just try and back away and go for trades right here. If they can try and get more turrets, there's still chances to try and be significant in the later stage of the game. But right now, Super can. There's apathy. Oh, oh, beautiful snipe! Be a lot more dangerous towards the turrets as well. Even though they don't really step up to try and hit the turret, that render will allow Kabuki to slowly but surely whittle them down. But look at that, Sin gets jumped on. Flickers out though, now Phantom Execution comes down, but the Tempest Blade is still able to connect. The final slash dodge away from right now, so Deadly Catch is used up. Superman taking very low, but I'm offended. Is able to bring her on back just for a oh! bit. The Render's wow! Apathy! Do you anything, with the Lord coming in with a Cult also available, our fire are gonna go aggressively here. Deadly Catch used up as well. Now Van just using the Puncture Styling on Bigatron Alpha. Super Vin gets brought back to the team with the final slash. Still able to disengage though, he dashes forward. No map control at all, not even the side lanes here can be threatened by the Ling. There's another render's Apathy. It's being charged up, he wants to land it on a Pryo member. Connects on a Vin and my goodness! Renner's Apathy and a basic attack with that Renner is enough to take Super Vin down. Now in the mid lane. It's cracked wide open. I'm offended. Used up high. Brought back to the team. Not enough to take him down with the call Alter. Now placed down. It should be Aura Fire with another Siege onto the base turret up top. Bigaturn Alpha looking bleak for them as they've lost two base turrets for nothing. Down. That's the only winning condition I see here. Or not winning condition, defensive condition to win a defense. I think they want to do that. They have to do it before the Lord just comes into the base. With the Lord there, you can see the aura earlier. They just jump on the base and try and end the game and ignore the members of Vigatron Alpha completely. If they can go there now, 
Oh, they're going for Arando. No. Oh, five man all the way onto Arando. Alter saves him. The final splash collapsing now. To render his ability to chunk them low. Super can still in the midst. Aran still able to survive. And it's Van who picks up the kill onto Finn. The base is wide open. Or a fire. Their first win is lingering. And they will do it against the Red Terminators. The fires from the dragon has melted them down.